Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. PCSX2, the best PS2 emulator on PC, just had a massive breakthrough. Let's get started. All right, to kick things off, if you need help setting up PCSX2, I've got you covered with a tutorial and I'll leave it in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Now, the big news today comes from the official PCSX2 Twitter account, where they say a lot of people were asking for a Vulkan renderer, and courtesy of Stenzek, who's behind Duck Station, it's finally here. It performs better than OpenGL in a lot of cases on similar blending levels, so it should make a couple of harder to run games much easier to play. Thanks, Sten. Now, unfortunately here, this new Vulkan renderer is not available on the stable version of PCSX2. You will have to pick up the latest development build. To do that, head on over to PCSX2.net uh, from here, put your mouse over where it says download, get PCSX2 here, and then go over to where it says development and click on it. And then if we take a look under author here, we can see where Stenzek made those changes, and we can see some changes happen afterwards as well. So just a friendly reminder here, development builds are largely experimental. They might work great and introduce a cool feature. Other times they might not work as expected. These are updated extremely frequently. By the time you're watching this, it might look different than what you're seeing in this video. It might not, but chances are there's probably a couple that have been added here. So my recommendation is just go for the one at the top of the list. On the right hand side here, just click download. It will bring you to a separate page altogether. And from here, just click the top download link under Windows 32 bit. Now, if you're using this version and it's not working quite right, just try choosing the one under it. All of these builds are absolutely free and they're all experimental. So here is the latest dev build of PCSX2 up and running, at least at the time of filming. If I go to config here and then go to graphics settings, I can now choose Vulkan under renderer. It wasn't like this before. For comparison's sake, here is the current stable release of PCSX2 version 1.6. If I go to config, go down to video and plugin settings, you can see there is no Vulkan option here. At the end of the day here, this is a huge win for PCSX2, and I'm assuming once they get the kinks worked out, the Vulkan renderer will make its way to a stable version, probably in 1.7. If you're having trouble running certain games on PCSX2, I recommend checking out a development build, seeing if that helps. If it doesn't help, check out the Vulkan renderer and seeing if that helps. Hopefully one of the two will help that game run a little bit smoother. Anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts on this Vulcan renderer in the comments below. Let me know if you're going to check out a development build in the comments below. And let me know what your thoughts are about PCSX2 in general in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button. Check out my other videos. Thank you, everyone. Take care.